It's my pleasure to bring to you a value that you can use as a foundation in your personal walk with Christ. And today I want to talk to you about priorities. Priorities. It's a huge word, priorities. It will help you do what is being asked of you from heaven. Also, it'll make you a success in the marketplace. If we become intentional and major on the majors, too many times we get involved in time wasters. And so priorities are so very important, priorities. And so I want to bring a verse out to you. And it's in the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse number 30, 33. Listen to the words. This is in the Passion Translation. It says, so above all, constantly chase after the realm of God's kingdom and the righteousness that proceeds out of him. Then all these less important things will be given to you abundantly. Don't worry about tomorrow, but deal with each challenge as it comes your way one day at a time. What is he talking about? Yes, he's talking about putting the kingdom of God first and its realm, but he's talking about majors and minors. He's talking about priorities. As a man, this is super important for time management. I love looking at Elon Musk and Bill Gates and some of these other great movers and shakers of our generations. And these men are intentional with their time. Now, it's amazing, they don't have one minute more time than I do, but they're intentional. There was a, a little advertisement on social media about getting some of the same books that Elon Musk reads. Now think about this, he's dealing with SpaceX, he's dealing with Tesla, he's dealing with all these innovations. I think they're building still a tunnel under LA for transportation. Uh, and he still has time to read? Read, really? And so he's intentional with his time and he's doing great things. So we look at r average people, normal people, and have you ever been on social media? Of course you have, we all have. Have you ever got lost on social media and you look at your watch and you say, I just wasted two and a half hours. I know it's enjoyable. I know it's fun. I know we're interacting with people, but as productive as it can be, it can be a time waster. And so there are a whole bunch of things like that that we can just waste time, hang out, and then just say, oh my goodness, the day is gone. And we don't have a list, our to-do list, if it's out there, uh, it's never been checked off. And so we need to have goals. We need to have things written down or placed into our phones where we can digitally see, I have a list, I have a to-do list. These are things that I need to get done. These are projects I wanna tackle. These are hobbies, these are studies I wanna get through. These are things that are gonna make me better. This is what I wanna put on my resume. I wanna do this study on the internet. I wanna add this to my life. I wanna, I wanna read this book. Uh, I wanna set up what is important, okay? Pause just for a minute. Set up what is important. So to do that, you have to write down what is important. I believe from that scripture, the kingdom realm is important. Now, as a pastor, I tell people, fellowshipping, worshiping with the community of faith, God said is a priority. Even if I don't see it, God sees it. And so I put that at one of the tops of my list. Prayer is at the top of my list. Reading scripture is at the top of my list. I do it every day. I spend time in scripture. I might not spend 12 hours reading scripture, but I'm going through the Bible and I'm using it to say, God, speak to me. Also, I want to be able to touch people. That means I want to be out. I want to have a a place where, you know, people cross my path. I want to talk to people and I want to be able to share Christ with them or at least share the love of Christ that's in me with them. So there are priorities. Okay, I talked about the kingdom realm. Let's talk about a marital realm. My wife is very important. My children, my grandchildren, very important. I need to spend time with them. 
So when I was younger, boy, did I blow it. Oh my goodness. I was a youth pastor and God was blessing us in such an incredible way. If you looked at a kid, they gave their life to Christ. It was turning the town around. Um, we were doing things that you probably couldn't even do today. We were just picking up kids in the center of town on, the, on our church bus, bringing them to a gym and uh, letting them play ball, breaking up some fights, preaching Christ to them, them getting uh, born again and, and adding to our youth group. It wound up changing our entire church. And I wound up leaving my other priorities behind. I forgot I was young, I was young and newly married. I forgot I had two babies at home. I left them and I didn't have my priorities right. Was going to church, being a youth pastor, being uh, seeing God move wrong? No, but I could have done it 10,000 better ways, but I didn't set up priorities. I was young myself and so I was yielding some of those fun things and I forgot I got two babies at home. And the wife of my youth, I'm married now almost 45 years, but my wife was young back then and there are certain memories I don't have. I can remember every youth retreat and some of the skits we did 40 years ago, but some of the memories with my kids, I just wasn't there. Oh, I didn't abandon them, but I sure messed up my time management and I sure messed up my priority list. And because of that, I'm here to help younger men say, don't do the same thing. And so the first thing is, it's like garbage day. Clean out time wasters. Make God the priority. Make God the priority. Start saying, I have 24 hours. When am I my strongest? Before I go to work, I want to spend time in the Word. I want to spend time talking with God. Well, it's been my joy to share this foundation with you. And this will change your entire life. Every day, it's personal and it's yours. God bless you.